it's very easy for all of us, as with us in Wetzel County, that the shale gas operation so totally take over a community and a rural community like Wetzel County can be invaded pretty easily. My name is Bill Hughes from Wetzel County, West Virginia. And I'm Mary Ann Hughes and I'm with him. <laughs> and we've lived in Wetzel County uh, about 40 some years or so and we're just a few weeks shy of being married 48 years. Without Marianne's support and encouragement for years, I would not be able to have done and sort of continue doing what I've been doing. But I've never considered myself an activist, and I've always felt that pictures accurately described and photographs sent to the DEP or the Public Service Commission, uh, various governmental agencies, that pictures with good descriptions of what happened, latitude and longitude and day and time and all these things had a greater chance of being effective and I think in a lot of ways they, they were. Those people who are having fracturing done right in their neighborhood are subjected to incredible noise, incredible traffic. Um, they, they take the best farmland, um, the hay knobs, we don't have mountains where we are, but we have these hills, knobs. They take, they shave it off. It's mini mountaintop removal. Um, so grandpa can never show his grandchildren the view from that hay knob, which is, that always gives me goosebumps because that's the most precious thing. The land is the most precious thing to the people who live where they're taking it from. Unfortunately, the powers that be live on the riverfront where the town is, where the, ho the hotels and the restaurants and they're making good money with all these people coming in. But they never go out to the country to see the damage that's being done.